All right, welcome back. You're still watching in the game and favor each other. We're talking everything about the Nigerian Premier Football League. And uh, what else? Uh, when you look at the NPFL, you just know that there are some persons who have been custodians of the league, some persons who have really ensured that the league is taken to the height, you know, where it's ought to be. And uh, one of them who has also paid his uh, services to the NPFL, AEBA International, not forgetting also Aqua United, uh, the promise keepers, uh, one man who, of course, still holds the record of the highest goal scored by a player in a single season. We have been joined by Ufonudo, a player who, of course, has moved all the way to Bangladesh, talking about Bashundara Kings. He joins us this morning in Nigeria and evening right here in Bangladesh. Good evening and good morning to you right here in Nigeria, Ufonudo. Uh, good evening from here, and I think good morning from, from Nigeria too. I'm so delighted to join you guys. Thank you so much for having me. All right, uh, since you moved away from the NPFL, you've been having a series of uh, states in different parts of the world. You went to the United States of America, FC Tulsa, and uh, you've been going on and on to ensure that you keep uh, the football in, in your career on. Uh, what's been happening with you? What's been happening you know, to your uh, goal scoring, your career as a whole, as a player? Can you tell us what you've been up to in the last uh, one year? Uh, well, I am... I, I'm I'm still here. I'm doing what I love to do. I'm doing what I know how to do first. Uh, I'm still scoring. Uh, so a few, few days ago, um, some statistics um, dropped in Bangladesh. Um, I noticed that I, I played about um, 52 games and scored about 32 games and made about 16 or 14 assists, meaning that I was involved in every goal scored in every game that I played. So I, I was like, ah, wow, this is fantastic. That means I still have it. So truly they say, that um, form is temporary and class is permanent. All right, let, let's look at the NPFL. Since you left the Nigeria Premier Football League, yeah. how would you say the league has fared? Do you think there's been some improvement since you left, or you feel that the league is not where it's supposed to be? What's your thoughts on the NPFL since you left? Well, to be very honest, I think there have been a lot of improvements. You, you can see um, teams winning away from home. The last, the, 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 the last um, week game, I saw... Um, I think that was Bendel Insurance. They, they lost in the first half, like three, three goals down. And, uh, you know, it's, it's never happened before. You know, things, things are going away and they're winning games. Efficient things are, as you say, for, um, for a period of time now. So I think there's been a lot of improvement. And also, I think the players also have stepped up their, the games and they, 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 they're putting a lot of pressure on um, their home teams, especially when they go away from home. So it has really improved. So I think it's to to um, the LMC, the organizers of the league. All right, uh, let, let's now look at uh, the NPFL goal scorers uh, so far. It's going to come up on your screens uh, shortly. Uh, some of the players have scored this season. Uh, Chidioke Obama, 13 goals. Uh, Albert Hilary, 12 goals. Sikiru Alimi, 11 goals. Robert Mizo, who is no longer in the league, 10 goals. Mustafa, 8 goals. Now, we've played uh, over 20 matches this season in the NPFL with 13 goals as the highest goal scorer. You broke the record and still holds the record of 23 goals in the season. Looking at this stage of the season with 13 goals, do you think it's uh, something close to breaking your record this season or someone will do it anytime soon? Because it seems that record has been there since the 2013, if I'm not mistaken, 2013-2014 season. Well, well, for me, for me, I think what I really think doesn't matter. It depends on uh, the individuals who are on this great stage. Well, if, if I want to say impossibility is nothing, if you believe and you work hard towards it, I think it can be achieved. So 20 games have been played. This year, have um, about 10, um, 16 games left. And to achieve 14 goals to break the record is very, very possible. You hard work, dedication, drive, consistency. I think you can do that. So um, for me, I really want that record to be broken, to be very honest. Just being so sincere because this record has been here for a very long time. I think this year... Ending this year is going to make it like one decade after this record is set. So I think it needs to be broken. So a new challenge can also be set, you know. We, I think we have the quality of players that can do this. But I think it's very possible. For me, I think I need this record to be broken. All right. Uh, my guest in the studio has a question for you. All right. Uh, good All right. evening where you are basically at this point in time. So I would like to ask you, you know, uh, in the league where you are currently, you said you've played about 52 games. Um, what, 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 how has it been for you settling in the tactical changes? Um, how different is it from the NPFL? Well, I, I must say the NPFL is very rich. I, 
probably we the league organizers, the teams, we are not announcing the talents we have. The league, the Nigerian Professional Football League is so rich. We have a lot of quality players. We just need to, you know, get a lot of infrastructure, get some good pay. And I think the league is something else. It will be something unimaginable. Yeah, uh, if, if I want to compare the, the, the talents we have here compared to the Nigerian Professional Football League, I think we have a lot of talent in Nigeria. I must really be honest. Um, well, I've been trying to settle in, you know, different system of play, different coaches, different players. It's really not been easy. And uh, most of the jobs that have been done here are done by the foreigners, you know. They believe that you're the one to, you know, to get up the team to wherever the team is going to be. If the team fails, it is you as a foreigner that has made the team to fail because you have limited numbers of foreigners that play in the league. So every team has the right to register six foreigners and only four can play in every particular game. So we see that they use more of their local players because they want to, uh, they want to see their local players in full. So, well, I've been trying to settle in as much as I can. So I think I'm doing my third season. So, for me to do my third season, because it, let, let, let me just break it down. In, in this country, the, the, the contract they give you is okay. a season contract. Okay. So, if you don't do well, you're, you're back home. So, for me to have survived the first season, second season, and already on my third season, it shows that I've been doing something, something very good for my team and also for the teams I've been playing for. All right, uh, Alpha, before we let you go, let's quickly. Uh, look at uh, the MPFL table. Now, if you look at it, Rangers International are uh, currently topping the table. And, uh, you know, followed by AIBA International, Lobby Stars, Rebel Stars, Plateau United, Shooting Stars. You have played for AIBA International in the past, also made records with AIBA International. But I look at Rangers tops the table. Do you think, who do you think, or who are you looking forward to uh, winning the league this season? And secondly, your former club, Aqua United, is currently battling relegation, which is something a lot of persons did not see coming. What's your take on that? Okay, first of all, let me go on the, the top of the table. For me, uh, I think um, the trophy this season is going to the Coast City. Uh, there have been tremendous changes in, in the Illegal Rangers team. The system of play, the, the, the coach system of play, the players, the, the management. I think um, they really need it. And I think who needs it more? Guess it. For me, I don't know. Anybody's also trying, but I know... Um, Enugu Rangers is not going to take it easy. For me, I endorse Enugu Rangers. I, I, I've watched um, a couple of their games, and I think um, they, they're going to get the, the, the trophy this season. Uh, for Aqua United, uh, I don't know I don't know what to say. I feel, I feel so bad about what is going on the team. Uh, it's a normal thing. It's a setback. But I think uh, they can still get out of, of that position. If, if, if We still have a couple of games, so they can still get out of that position. They just need to do the right things. All right, they just need to do the right thing. And uh, just a quick one, Super Eagles of Nigeria. Before the Nations Cup, there were talks about having MPFL players in the Super Eagles of Nigeria. An export of the MPFL was Stanley Wabali, who, of course, plays in South Africa, but he came out from the MPFL. We saw what he did at the just concluded the Nations Cup. Do you think that's enough justice for us to have more league players in the Super Eagles of Nigeria? You were once invited to the national team also. Do you think that is enough reason? Well, he, he was the product of the Nigerian professional football league, but he was not a player of the Nigerian professional league. I think it was only um, um, uh, the goalkeeper um, that was uh, a product of the Nigerian professional league. They don't, they don't believe in the Nigerian professional football league players. They don't believe in the, in the league. They don't believe in the league. You know, if you can believe in a league, of, uh, um, the South African league, and you, you take a goalkeeper from the South African league to be a first choice of the Nigerian professional football league, it shows that you don't believe in the Nigerian league. The Nigerian league, Players are also good. You, you can, you can, I, I, I bet if you take these players and put them on a the high platform, they can perform. Just that they don't believe on the league. So for me, we, we have played that. Okay. And we, in, our, in our time, we also tried. So I think they should encourage the Nigerian professional football players too in the, in the Spy Ghost. That's All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much. You followed all we called and you responded. We wanted to say thank you. I uh, wish you well. In Bangladesh, hopefully one day you might think of coming to retire in the Nigeria Premier Football League, like some players do yeah. outside of the country. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs>